This is a video to help with getting files from PC onto a bearing a BCF2000 or hopefully also a BCR2000. The software that Behringer create and recommend for this, which is the BC Edit or B Edit um, or B Controller, which I'm starting up now, looks like this. And generally, though clunky, works reasonably well. Apart from it won't let you upload files, sysx files, back onto the device. A major flaw I would point out. However, this is a workaround. Um, I currently don't have my BCF2000 switched on, so it's not listed in the devices. Switch it on. Let's go through boot up. And if I now press the scan, it should list in the device list down the left hand side. This did. There. Over on the right hand side, you have virtual devices. So I'm going to look for my virtual BCF2000, and here are some I've saved earlier. So if I load BCF2000 version of 1, it lists in all of the banks. Initially, I tried to do save straight onto the device. Yes, unfortunately, this will bring up an error which reads timeout error while sending. Um, this hasn't been resolved. I tried going back to an earlier version of Java, which apparently is supposed to solve it. This didn't work either. Um, down here, you'll see export sysx. Um, this allows you to export individual presets. Something I worked out slightly afterwards, if you press shift and scroll down, select the first item, shift and scroll down with the arrow keys, you can select multiple uh, presets to export in your sysx. So select multiple, export sysx, you can select which bank they're going to, and then export the save. Uh, I will call this bank uh, generic one two twenty. This is now exported the sysx file. At this point, we are no longer interested in the B Control Series editor as it has become useless. Um, quit that, um, open up MIDI Ox, go to Actions, no. sorry, View SysX. This will allow you to file, send a SysX file. Browse to the location of the text file we've already done. Open. And this will now shove the sysx file via MIDI ox to your device. I'm going to pause it here as the progress is quite slow. Now 11 minutes 46 seconds later, the upload has just finished. And the device now has the correct sysx on it. Hooray! That's the workaround. Now, if you, you, excuse me, I've got some Skype messages to get to. Bye!